Hi, this is The Business Guy. So how do you start an ATM business? I've always personally had multiple streams of income and always looking for extra sources of revenue. And I was walking by an ATM at a mall one day and I was thinking, how can I make money by having people use my ATM just for their own convenience, just because they don't have cash on them? So I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do and what to expect when you start this business, such as the overhead, how much you can make, the difficulties and exactly what to do to get this business started in the best way. I've been in the company formation field since 1991. Our company started in 1906. We have attorneys on staff and are one of the nation's leading business startup firms. So we're gonna use our expertise to look at one specific business, the ATM business. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the like button below and enter in your comments. And you can also click the subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't already, so that when more videos come out like this one, you'll be up to date right away. Now, I'm not gonna just tell you when Chester Cathedral. But I'm actually going to give you the contacts, the suppliers, how much it costs and so on. So basically everything. So once you get done watching this video, you can get up and start making money right away. And in this video on starting a business, I want to give you all the information you possibly need because a lot of people on YouTube are big on hype, but they don't tell you step by step what you need to do and how to get started. So rather than leaving you here scratching your head, I want to make sure you have all the information right now. And even if you don't want to get into the ATM business, say you want to get into the vending machine business, landscaping, building maintenance, you can use some of the principles here to get going in just about any business. So notice how we break down the numbers. So step one is how much money does this business actually take to start? We call this your startup cost. So we mean how much money does it cost to start in the ATM business? How much does an ATM machine actually cost? How much does everything cost so there's no guessing? And I'm actually gonna call one of the top companies that sells ATM machines. Some of the top ones are National ATM Systems, ATM Global, Ocean ATM, and Premier ATM Services. And I'm gonna put their names and contact info in the notes below. Now, the great thing about them is they will come out and install your ATM for free. So you don't have to do anything but keep it full of cash. Now, that being said, be sure to buy a new ATM and not a used one. People on Craigslist selling ATM machines have software installed and send people's credit card information over the internet back to the person who sold you the ATM. So they steal the people's money and that could drag you into some big investigation that you have to talk your way out of. So buy new. Plus if it breaks, it could end up costing you more money than the little bit you save. So buy from a reputable ATM vendor and these companies do all the maintenance and repairs for you because you wanna focus on what you do best, making money, not running around fixing things. And believe me, you make a lot more money with this than you do with this. Now the ATM companies also set you up with a full notification system. So you ask them, well, my ATM runs out of cash. How will I know it's time to fill it up again? How do I know how much money I'm making each day? How many transactions? When you buy an ATM from one of these companies, they send you text messages. Plus you can go online and see your profits and your cash supply for each machine. So you see how much you've made each day, each week, each month, and then bing, your text says one of the machines is low on cash. So I'm gonna go ahead and call one of these companies right now, and don't worry, their phone numbers are down in the description or links to their websites. So you don't need to know their phone number. So we're gonna go ahead and call them right now. Hopefully they answer and can help. I already know their prices, but I just wanna go ahead and call them to show you how it works. ATM Global, can I help you? Hello, yeah, I want to buy some ATM machines and I just want to have an idea on what they cost. Well, where are you located? I'm located in Florida. Okay, what kind of locations are you trying to put them in? Well, probably restaurants, barber shops, and those kind of places. Okay, so you don't, you're, you don't have any location right now? Right, I just have to get the contract signed and then I'll buy the machine. Okay, what we do is we set it. And we process the machine. You understand you have to have yeah. a processor, right? You bet, uh-huh. Okay. Uh, we sell you a brand new machine out of the box at cost. Basically, it's going to run you twenty four fifty for either a Gen Mega or a Halo 2. Okay. Two-year warranty. Okay. It's the install's three fifty. All right. Once you learn how to install a machine yourself, then obviously you can do it and waive that cost. If you've never done it before, I recommend that uh, you have a professional installer do it. Okay. Okay. You need phone and internet, to, excuse me, power and internet to make it work. Okay. What we do is once you secure the location by the machine, uh, we drop ship it directly to the location. Okay. okay. Yeah. Once it's received there, the installer comes out, bolts it to the ground for security reasons, um, which I recommend. 
sets up all the banking networks, all the sets up your banking on, and then teaches you how to operate the machine and program it, put uh-huh. cash in it, load cash. Okay. And then we set up your personal banking. So if somebody uses the machine and takes out a hundred dollars and there's a three dollar surcharge, that money's gonna be ACH back to you the following day. Great, okay. So and weekends and home. Right. And there'll be notifications. Yeah. So if the machine runs out of cash, I'll get a text message and so on, right? Correct. It's a twenty four seven, yeah, real time. So that's that's the beauty of it. Yeah, it lets you know from anywhere. You'd be sitting on the beach and it would tell you. Cool. <laughs> so, oh, that's great. That's very convenient. Yeah. So, okay. So what do I do next? What do I do to go ahead and get started and purchase one from you? <clears throat> well, as a processing network, you know, we charge a $39 flat fee uh-huh. or 25 cents a transaction to make it work. Okay. Okay. Either or. All right. right. Then uh, the machines come out of Austin, Texas right now. Uh-huh. Uh, supply chain's caught up. That's one good thing. Good. You know? So you're looking at two weeks, two weeks or sooner. Okay. Wait. Or you see the machine. About two weeks, okay. Yeah, once you verify, you know, you're ready to go. And then the next step would be if you want to fire an email over, mm-hmm. I'll send you out some pricing on brochures on the machine so you see exactly what you got. And then at that point, if you want to move forward, I send you out some necessary paperwork to fill out. You have to fill out, we call it an Exhibit 2, Exhibit 3, W9. Okay. And that's for the processing network. Right. To make sure you didn't have any fraudulent history in your past life. Right, uh-huh. Yeah, so that takes, like I said, 24, 48 hours. You know, once you're approved off, then we order the machine. Uh-huh. And then uh, you move on forward. You know, buy them through credit card, obviously. Okay, very good. Well, that, that's very helpful. I'll, I'll call you back. I really appreciate your help. No problem. If you want to go on the website, ATM Global, if you fill out the contact us for them uh, online, then we'll send you out some pricing and brochures on it. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, so that was very helpful. He was very, very thorough. And so I gave the prices, uh, installation fee, and he said if you uh, don't know how to install it, which you know, most people who are getting started in the business wouldn't know how, uh, then he'll they'll you know they charge three fifty for the installation. And once you probably want to go there and watch them install it, that way you can learn. And from then on out, if you want to save the money, you can do it yourself or. You know, hire your own guy who can do it for less. So that really gave us some great ideas. And I know most ATMs cost about $2,200. His cost a little bit more than that. And they hold between $16,000 and $24,000 of their time. Now keep in mind, you don't have to put that much money in there up front. You can put in less, but you just need to make sure that you run down and fill it before it runs out. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the math. And that's what making money is all about, right? The math. How much you get paid minus how much it costs you. And hopefully you get this big number called profit. So figure out your cost. And I always estimate the expenses will be higher because if you're prepared for higher expenses and it's lower, then that's great. But if it ends up being higher, then you're in trouble. So say the average ATM that you purchase will be around $2,200 to buy, maybe a little bit more. Now, the beauty of this business is that you don't actually need to buy the ATM until you get a customer, a place to put it. So here's what you have to do. I saw this barber shop down the street from me, a super busy place. People pay with cash. They tip with cash. So I might go in there and say, you know, you could make a lot more money if you had an ATM in here and I can install one in here for you for free. I'll handle everything. I'll maintain it, fill it with cash, etc. And he'll be like, wow, that's a great idea. Why not? So when he tells me to go for it, I get a contract that I keep in my car. So always be prepared. You don't want to get a commitment and have nothing for them to sign. Keep a contract with you. So go month to month to make him feel more comfortable. Plus, if it's not profitable enough, I can move it to another location quickly. So you don't want to have to invest a bunch of money and then start looking like mad. So you just wait until you have a contract, a guaranteed customer, and then you order the ATM. And it's way better than starting a retail store where you have to buy a bunch of stuff and you just sit there waiting for somebody to buy it. And then you just have it installed right away. And the cost is about $2,200 to $2,500 plus installation as we heard. And then you put the cash in, maybe $2,000 in cash, maybe $1,000. And that's money being recycled. Somebody takes money out of your machine and boom, the bank zaps it right back into your account plus your fee. Now think about it. In retail, you buy this stuff, you hope people will buy it, then you have to stand there all day hoping somebody walks in. What a drag, right? With the ATM business, you don't even have to show up until you get an alert on your cell phone that it's time to refill the cash. And that's cash plus the profit is automatically deposited into your account. So you don't even have to be there all day to make a profit like you would in retail. So your money's being recycled. Somebody takes it out of your machine and the money goes straight back into your bank account. So you go to your bank where your money's being deposited and you get cash and you fill up your machine again. Okay, now be aware of your surroundings when you're filling up your machine. And if you don't feel safe, 
go away and come back later. So again, you only need 2,200 to 2,500 to buy the machine, plus about $2,000 in cash. You also have legal protection and tax deductions. And be sure to set up an LLC. That's around 500 bucks or so, depending on your state. So call 1-888-444-4812, call Companies Incorporated, and get your LLC set up right away. So this is extremely important. You need the legal protection and tax deductions that an LLC can give you. And then you want to open up your business account in the LLC name. So your ATM sends an electronic signal to the bank over the internet. Say a Bank of America customer uses your ATM and withdraws $40. You charge the debit card holder, let's say, a fee of $4 on top of that. So the customer takes $40 of cash out of your ATM, and then Bank of America then deposits $44 into your bank account. So that's all you really need is around $4,700 to $5,000 to start your own ATM business. Okay, so what are the expenses? Sometimes you put in an ATM because the business owner makes more money making and cash convenient and available to the customer. And sometimes you need more leverage so you can give them a cut of the profits. So you pay them a commission. You get to deduct that expense from your taxes. So you just get taxed on your profit after the expenses. Now keep in mind, only offer a commission if you need to. This ATM is a benefit to the business because they get to make more money. So only offer a commission if you need to to get in the door. Remember, you're doing all the work buying the machine, so offer 25% of the profits if you need to. You can go up to 35% if you need, but do your best to keep it at 25. Now, if the place is getting tons of foot traffic, you can go higher, but only if you need to. There are tons of people, say four to eight percent of the people typically use the ATM. So if a business has 150 people a day or a mall that might have 2,000 or more people walking by your ATM machine every day, that's six to 12 people a day at a store and 80 to 160 people a day at the mall. So let's be conservative and call it 40 people people a day. Now here are some of the highest paying locations, convenience stores, restaurants, gas stations, casinos, clubs, and bars. Some places like clubs and bars will pay seven or eight dollars to use an ATM because they need the cash right away. When people are leaving, they want to tip the bartender, maybe pay the valet and leave. They just need the money right now. That is, if they want their car back, valets don't usually take credit cards, so that's all cash. So if it's high foot traffic, you can charge more and give a higher percentage to the owner and still make the same money because you're charging more per transaction. So say you do a 50-50 split with the owner of the bar. The commissions never really have to cost you more because you can just jack up your fee and make up for it. So don't get too greedy because the card holders aren't going to get totally ripped off. But hey, you're offering a great convenience and people will pay a bit more for that convenience if you're reasonable. Now, the second expense is for the internet. And you can almost always just hook up to the business owner's internet for free. So that usually doesn't have to cost you anything. Alternatively, you can use your ATM vendor to hook up to the internet and everything so they can make it easy for you. Say they install the internet and they charge you, say, 20 cents per transaction. That's not a big deal when you're making $4 to $7 per transaction. Otherwise, you can just get your own modem and internet and have AT&T or T-Mobile install the internet and you pay, say, $20 a month. So the expense is only about $20 a month for mobile internet than the 25% you pay to the business owner if you pay them anything at all. So there's really not many expenses and it's pretty simple if you do the math. Okay, now let's talk profit. That's what you really want to know, right? That's the exciting part. Now keep in mind there are businesses popping up every day so you can be the first one to get in there and offer your services. And if they already have a machine, these machines are most likely outdated machines. Remember, you're buying new and sell that and you'll be replacing their old machine with a brand new one or maybe they're not getting a cut of the profit right now or you can offer them a bigger cut than they're getting now. And when you're friendly and professional and offer a good deal, a good percent of the time, you'll get the deal. At college campuses and bars that are incredible, Remember, when you put an ATM in a bar, you can charge five, six, eight dollars. Eight dollars and people won't care. And the bar and their customers want the ATM for convenience. Now, if you live in New York, Los Angeles, Miami, Houston, great, 300 people will walk in per day and 8% of the people use the machine, that's 24 people. If you have 10 people a day walking into the business, don't put the machine in there. You wouldn't put the machine in a music shop, but maybe you would in the gas station down the street from it. So you charge three dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars per transaction, depending on where you live. Let's say 24 people come in. So you have 24 people using the ATM each day. You charge $4 per transaction. That's $96 a day. So $96 a day 
times seven days a week, that's $672 in fees. And say you give 25% of that to the business owner, that's $504. So then you multiply that by 4.33 weeks per month, the number of weeks in the average month, that's $2,182 in profit a month, times 12, and that's $26,182 per year on that one $2,200 to $2,500 machine. And say you had 10 machines out there, that's $21,810 a month that you're earning, and that's $200 $161,720 a year. And that's even with sharing some of your profits and you don't even have to be there the whole time. Just fill up the machine when you get the text message telling you it's getting low. Now here's a question, exactly how much money will be in the ATM? You say, hey, I don't have $100,000 in cash right now to fill all those machines with. Remember, you put in $2,000 and whenever it gets low, you go and fill it up. Remember, the more you put in, the fewer trips and the less you put in, the more trips. So you wanna use your profits to both live off of and set a certain amount aside to fill up your machines and then another amount to buy new machines when you get a location. So say your average withdrawal is $60. So you get 24 people a day at $60 per transaction and that's $1,440 a day. So with those numbers, you'll go in almost every day and if people are taking $10, $20 out, 20 times 24 is 480. So every four days, you go in and refill your machine. So at $4 a pop, you're making $96 a day and after 30 days, you've made $2,880 minus any commissions you pay. And remember, whenever somebody makes a withdrawal, that automatically gets deposited back into your bank account plus fees, so the money just keeps on going round and around. So as we said, the initial startup cost is around $4,700 to $5,000, and the expenses are around $40 to $50 per machine. And that's a pretty small amount to make over $20,000 a month, and we're gonna show you how to do that in a bit. Okay, so what are the challenges? That's a good question you just came up with. Well, first of all, many banks already have ATMs at their branches all around town. Wells Fargo, Chase, US Bank, PNC, SunTrust, every grocery store has an ATM. But not every business has an ATM, right? Because new businesses are popping up every day. You go to a new club, bar, restaurant, be the first one in and negotiate with them. I mean, they want their customers to have access to cash because they make more money. Or you say, hey, I see you have an ATM right there so you can walk in with a shirt and tie or a polo shirt with your logo on it. Remember the LLC you set up? Put that company name on the polo shirt. And you say, hey, I'm in the ATM business and we can come in here and install it for free and most likely give you a better deal than you're getting right now. And the machine will be brand new. So let's say you offer 25%, 40%. Remember, it's all about that other guy giving them more profits, focus on the benefits that you'll be giving to them. You can let them know that older ATMs don't have security. Some have been hacked and steal credit card numbers. And you say, hey, we have newer models with top security. So your customers have access to more money they can spend with you. And you tell them you get a cut of the ATM profits and you get a new secure machine to see you're selling them the benefits. So in about one to two weeks, you'll install the new machine. And remember, your ATM vendor will be doing that for you. So you go in there, you help the business owner, and you show them what you can do for them. Hand them the contract and make sure that he signs it right on the spot. So that's how to start an ATM business. That's how you make an excess of $20,000 a month. So visit the link below for more information if you want to form your LLC. And remember to click the like button, subscribe button. This is the business guy.